Hi, this is Karthik from Karthik Step Time, and this is the second video in our Mission Planner series. I am going to go over the basics of Mission Planner and a little bit about monitoring the aircraft while it is in the air, and then a little bit uh, about flight planning. And later on in the series, we will go into more details about both of those things. Right here is a sort of home screen. This is what you will see the first time when you open it. Uh, the map on the right side and uh, left side. In this window, we have a lot of functionality that we will use in flight. So here upper left is the head up display. So you can see there is a lot of information that's going to be displayed here. Most apparently is an artificial horizon. So this indicates our pitch and roll we have over here on the left side an airspeed indicator and then airspeed and ground speed are also indicated numerically below that. On the right we have an altitude indicator and then over here we have unknown. Actually when we are connected to an aircraft this will indicate the current flight mode and then we have an indicator for uh, um, uh, indicating distance to a waypoint number. We will talk about this later on the upcoming series. On the upper right side, we have a signal strength indicator. Actually, it shows the signal strength of the telemetry module. Along the top, we have a compass heading. Here we have an indicator to tell us whether or not we have a GPS fix and then when we are connected to an aircraft down here on the bottom left side we will get a battery information and then on the right side you can see this is some nice aerial image that is served from uh, Google Earth you can actually change the image resource uh, you can use Bing map, Google map or uh, Yahoo map. Uh, actually, what I have selected here is the Google hybrid map. At the bottom left, we have probably the most useful portion of the flight data screen. In this quick tab, we get a little bit of basic information that is sometimes useful to us. I don't typically spend much time in this tab. The one thing that can be really nice is this distance to home this is actual distance from where the aircraft took off so you can see very quickly a number in meters of how far away the aircraft uh, and then go to the action tab um, this is going to be really useful to us when we are in flight we can control a lot of things about the aircraft from right here First of three buttons, if you want to change mode to auto, you can change at any time. If you want to change to loiter, you can change in case of emergency. If you want to change the mode to return to launch, you can call it back. And if you are click the drop down box, here you can get all the flight modes. If you want to fly in uh, acro mode, you can select acro. If you want to do uh, stabilize, you can select the mode at any time and uh, you can arm and disarm the aircraft here and if you want to change the speed, you can change it here. If you want to change altitude, you can change the altitude. So I will go over all of that later in video series, but this is probably the most important place for you to familiarize yourself if you are going to be the GCS operator while the aircraft is in the air. So we will go over to the other window that is uh, where we are going to talk about, which is the flight plan. This is as the name might suggest where we are going to make flight plans and it's pretty straightforward for us to do that and later on we will get into lot more advanced functionality but for now I am just uh, going to show uh, you the basic functionality of this window so that you, you have a little bit of uh, basic 
for doing some of the more advanced stuff so you can see what what we have the same aerial image that we saw in the flight data screen we just have a little bit of bigger display and we have a, a h right here uh, h indicates the home position so the home position is actually going to be reset when the aircraft is armed when you arm the motors of the aircraft it's going to reset on its own home position uh, so the home position we are uh, here is somewhat arbitrarily but it can be nice for giving us an idea where our flight plan is we can set this while we are doing a flight plan uh, we can set this where uh, we think we will be taking off and landing and that can be help us uh, make the flight plan okay let's start uh, creating more waypoints waypoint one two three four and five so in the command list you can see uh, many commands are there take off command landing return to launch or if you want to add do commands you can do it here so according to the mission you can change it over here and also we have a latitude and a longitude position of the waypoint and altitude of the each and uh, every waypoint we have a button for deleting and also we have an option for changing the order of each and every waypoint and also you can see the gradient here actually gradient which is indicating the steepness of the climb or descent between two waypoints if you change the altitude of the waypoint you can check the gradient so this gradient is uh, showing a uh, climb or descent between two waypoints let me put it back so uh, actually a steep climb and a steep descent are not good for the efficiency of our aircraft so since i have mentioned you can change the map source uh, you can click this drop down list you can see lot and lots of maps option available so you can choose whatever you want and upper right we have a latitude and a longitude along with the elevation so in this elevation in meters uh, it is based on google earth terrain data which is derived from the uh, radar topography mission mm, actually it is not super accurate but it's plenty good for pretty much all of our flight planning purpose uh, you can check the elevation data of our home, lo home location uh, you can check it uh, in similar way all waypoints so that's it if you are more comfortable working in utm you can select the utm here and still the elevation data is remain same and and one more thing upper left side we have a distance previous and home uh, actually it's not particularly useful but a distance and home really so home is the distance in meters the cursor from the home position so we can see uh, the home position is continuously updating whenever the cursor is moving throughout the map and okay that's it i will be back in the next video to show you some more advanced flight planning we will get into planning takeoff and landing and then we will get into making plans with rig to conduct surveying and then uh, we'll look at some more advanced surveying we'll look at how to survey multiple areas and uh, really uh, helpful things in flight planning all right well that's it uh, for this video and thank you for watching